warm greetings everyone only farm guy here with the new mod test for monday august the first yes and this before you ladies and gentlemen is the global goods transport pallet by 82 studio this is for all platforms the download uh, size is 7.02 megabytes to download now this pack comes with four mods ranging from uh, seven uh, slots eight slots six slots and six slots what these are they are um i guess they call them bags or pallets fillable bags and pallets shall we say with literally anything and everything uh, that you could possibly fill them with on farming simulator 22 i'm on ps5 here on fox farms and where do we find these gorgeous little mm, doohickeys well first of all we have to go into objects now they're found in two different places <coughs> uh, the pallets are well found under pallets and they are distinct by uh, this global goods transport pallet this one we have two here one is for dry goods as you can see down at the bottom and um production um goods things that will be spawned onto a pallet uh, from uh, factories and then we have the uh liquids transport pallet which carries all the things that you would typically count that you would typically hold in a tanker right so let's um let's have a look at the first one and if you take a look at the bottom again they are all of those products plus uh depending on what mods you have download or what a uh, map you're on it could actually contain more than those you see down there now capacity standard capacity is 10,000 liters which is a lot even um for a standard size um, or we can go up to the unreal size uh, of 200,000 liters, so quite astounding. But that's not even the most astounding thing about it. Uh, main color, you have all your, um, <clears throat> what you would call typical 8.2 Studio color options, um, all the uh, custom colors, plus, um, uh, oh, sorry, plus, <laughs> plus all the standard colors down here if you want to make it, oh, and those go chrome colored uh pink chrome oh yes pink chrome well 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 uh is there a well there isn't uh, there isn't another pink option there's there's the uh, uh citadel right okay so enough of that um capacity standard are unreal 200,000 it won't cost you any extra money for any of these things it is a $1000 and uh the uh, liquid one, if we go, sorry, if we go back into pallets, oh dear, liquids, uh, of course, the liquid one actually has, uh, oh, come on, I missed it, sorry about that, sorry about that, chief, a little reference to uh, um, get smart, uh, so again, yeah, the capacity is uh, 10,000 or 200,000, and main color, even the copper, color right okay so where do we find the bags now the bags are basically exactly the same as these it's just it doesn't come with the the pallet it's just a bag right okay so that one is under big bags and we missed it again there it is uh the global transport uh global goods transport bag a thousand dollars all those same same products and the liquids same liquids uh they're and they they have the capacity the standard capacity 10,000 liters or 200,000 liters same with both now <clears throat> the way you can tell from the dry goods to the liquid the liquid is black dry goods liquid right or you just look at them the uh, uh, field information uh, window pops up like that all right, so um, number two astounding thing about these, <laughs> they weigh nothing, <laughs> or at least less, or 200 kilograms or less. Yes, indeed, they are all uh, 
movable by hand. I'm remember I'm on console, so I do not have the uh, the super strength mod. Now, <clears throat> okay, so having shown you that, uh, there is one more astounding thing about this, and I have a wheel loader here, and uh, we're gonna pick that up with the wheel loader. You say, how am I going to do that without uh, something? Oh, look at that. It automatically attaches. Uh, no attachments necessary. And what's nice about it is you can attach it on any side. Uh, it does not have to be one side or there. All four sides will, uh, you will be able to activate that like so. And because it doesn't weigh anything, it's not going to overtip your um, your implement that you're using that to pick it up. So now, um, this also works for the bags, like so. And if you will click underneath, you have the uh, the spout under there that appears as well. Uh, is there a spout on this one? I didn't see one, but. Uh, uh no no spout on this one but it works this they they all work exactly the same <coughs> except for one thing let's uh let's hook this one up anyways and get our help window open right okay so aside for the from the lifting and tucking and the uh basically that's it it's 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 a uh it's a refillable container that hooks to literally well not anything but we will show you the um different um vehicles that we'll hook to and also the one thing that um the pallet um option has that the bag option does not is this you can close the cover now this is a somewhat of a significant option that you should know about because if you close the cover on it, it will not, uh, you cannot load or unload anything to or from it. It is still weighs nothing. Now that's, um, that would be an, um, a significant option because um, these other bags, anywhere you come close to something that it's going to load, it's going to automatically load. There's no fill option. It just automatically starts loading or unloading. <clears throat> so if you don't want that to happen, you get one of these. And once you've loaded it or unloaded something out of it and you don't want, uh, you want to close access to it, you put the cover on, right? Okay, so let's... Let's run over here where I have a few things to demonstrate. We have a skid steer loader. We have a front loader like the one we had. <coughs> it is the same attachment type as we had over at the store. And we have a telehandler. One thing I didn't test was if a three-point link. So we're going to drop this. And we're just going to come up to it to see if it'll attach to the three-point link. I don't think so, but no. So it needs to be um, also, oh yes, an off uh, front loader, uh, which we have over, uh, over yonder uh, there, over there. So a couple of things to... So this one I have filled with uh, 200,000 liters of wheat. Now this can be filled by any means. Uh, you can place it underneath a silo and fill it, although that's going to be tricky because filling it from a silo, if it's a silo such as this where you have the fill tube and the grate underneath the fill tube, this is what's going to happen. it will be unloading and you can load it but it'll be unloading at the same time so and there's no way to stop the unloading process as I said it automatically unloads once it's over top 
Uh, oh, wait a minute. Start filling. Yeah, no, there is no stop. Stop engines. Oh, wait a minute. Stop overloading. No. No, it's automatic. You can't stop it. So, that is where... Uh, wait a minute. Close cover. Now, see, I've closed the cover on it, and... What? Oh, dear. Uh, stop overloading? No. Oh. Hmm. Right. That's a problem. I thought it was... Because you can't load anything. Uh, yeah. So you can unload, but you can't load in. Hmm. Yeah, see, so you can't load anything within with the c cover on. Okay, that's going to be a bit of an issue. I thought it was... Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so... Uh, disregard the, uh, <clears throat> the previous statement about the cover because... I thought... Hmm... Okay... Because if we come over here... Yeah, okay, so that's what's happening. Uh... Well, this has, uh... TMR in it. Okay, so... Um... We'll come back to that in a moment. TMR in here, you can unload it into a trailer. As you can see here, just place it over top. It won't pull it from it. So if you put it beside, it won't take it from. So you have to you have to lift it and put it on top to dump it. So kind of like a big bag, which it really is. However, once in uh, from a vehicle to the bag as you can see that the tip the tip uh, the trigger comes up like way over here it has a huge um, it has a huge uh, tip radi like a radius where the uh, the trigger pops up so let's empty this out over here the empty speed is not overly fantastic, but it's not dreadfully slow either. I mean, we're looking at 200,000 liters, so it's going to take a minute for uh, that's to empty. Now, let's see here. Yes, okay, so now, okay. So what's the cover for? The cover just prevents... Cover just prevents uh, things from going in. It doesn't prevent it from going out. Yeah. Right, okay, so it's a one-way street. It doesn't... Uh, and the other thing is... <clears throat> if you're transferring from one bag to another, notice that if this bag is lower than that, it's going to fill from that bag to this bag. If I lift this bag higher <laughs> that's acting weird now um, <clears throat> if this bag uh, you get it close enough and this bag is higher than this bag it's gonna fill from there to there if I go into here and lift this bag higher than that one it's going to fill into there right so a little a little bit tricky that way uh, here we have the skid steer any of these will will attach to any of them there we go we have water this is the liquid we have water in here uh, the uh, the bags tend to wiggle a little bit which is kind of cool use that that um, illusion of uh, some liquid in there that's pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> as I said, the unload speed is not... Um, water is not accepted here. Okay, that's odd. Uh, that's kind of odd. We have had that come up a couple of times with these bags. 
<clears throat> or something isn't accepted at the cell anything which is weird because I've sold water there before right so it's uh, unloading as you can see the unloading speed is me not um, absolutely the most fantastic now uh, can you fill um, a sprayer yes you can refill sprayer there it is now the same thing applies to the sprayer and the height of this the height of the uh, the, the the tank here so we can if I unload it's not gonna it's not gonna want to unload because this is we put this right on the ground uh, it's tricky so it's there we go we can unload and it'll unload because this is higher than the tank so just as you kind of just as long as I think you keep that in mind <clears throat> you can load and unload from say a sprayer or a tanker or whatever or another bag it's just that height thing if this is uh, above that you can un it it'll it'll give you the trigger to unload uh, so now we can so if it's on the ground you can refill from it stop that or unload right there you go but if it's lifted in the air that's where you're going to get a, a little bit of conflict and of course if we let that go we can pick it we can pick it up there we go yes so it weighs nothing uh, let's grab it down there there we go so <laughs> uh, is it uh, emptying into here whoops um, I think this is the one where I got the uh, notification saying it doesn't accept no nope, now it's selling it what's it saying S multi-purpose liquid transport bag right there it says it on and in, in black words cool and uh, there we go we're just selling you can throw it on there and it sells the contents so it's a little bit quirky <clears throat> however one more thing I'd like to show you is you can fill it from an uh, by anything um, as you can see, liquid fertilizer, digestate, herbicide, diesel, diesel exhaust fluid, canola, slurry, silage additive, which is kind of neat, sunflower oil, grape juice, olive oil, and back to water milk. Right, so uh, I've, I've heard comments already about using this as a diesel fuel uh, tank where you can fill it with diesel fuel from anywhere and have a stationary diesel fuel. <laughs> so we can... Uh, there we go fill it with diesel and then uh, refill your vehicles from it <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can let's drop that down there can we can we hmm that I think needs to be tested I don't I would never have a vehicle that's out of fuel enough to really test whether you can refuel a vehicle or not from it uh, yeah don't know don't know about that for sure um, as for uh, these um, this is pretty much uh, auto load anything uh, from pallets uh, we probably show you that so we got wheat barley we'll, we'll go through the, <laughs> the items that this can pick up eggs uh, yes wool TMR ch forage chaff wood chip li literally anything and everything flour bread cake butter 
so all the pallet stuff, clothing, sunflower, all the oils, raisins, grape juice, lettuce, tomatoes, strawberries, chocolate, planks, furniture, fertilize, and then through the like. And if we just, um, let's say we buy some uh, pallets here of butter. All right, so we got some butter over there. And this will work with either the, uh, and there we go. It's loading the butter. Now with pallet, um, <clears throat> with pallet products like that, you're not going to be able to, at least not that I've confined to unload it from here onto a pallet again. Um, so once you've loaded it onto this, uh, the, the pallet uh, items, um, you're going to either have to sell it or take it to a factory that accepts that. As we see, we come over here, we've sold it. It's easy to sell at a sell point, but you're not going to, it's, so it's not something you can unload back onto a pallet. I haven't found anything that, uh, so once it's on here, let's just, um, what else can we, that comes on a pallet that, oh, the um, seeds. Okay, so we got, we got a bunch of seeds in here. So there's, oh, unload here. Oh, okay, so it's going to dump, it'll dump it out the bottom. It's like loose product. Um, oh, one last, I guess there's another question you may have is, can you... <clears throat> will a cedar load from this? So we're going to get this and a tractor. And we have some seeds in here and kind of like a one last little test here before we uh, go. Put that on the ground. Actually, just let it let it go let it go let it go and let's see if the uh, cedar will uh, fill from this bag I don't I, I fully expect it to <laughs> and if we pull up next to it yes look at that it is auto even automatically and it fills fairly quickly and there you have it um, it's, it's a portable, well, some have called it a portable silo. <clears throat> um, it's an auto portable auto load. It's a container, a portable container, auto load. Con I mean, it's, it's kind of everything, a whole bunch of things, uh, in four packages. So, um, and there's many, many more things. That I'm sure it can do that I had not uh, have not tried or showed you, but the um, uh, the mod hub description the description for this in the mod hub is extensive, and um, and there's also a um, I will put a link to the mod hub because in the mod hub description there is a link to um, David's video at A2 Studios. Um, that um, will probably explain it a little better than I did. But anyways, that is uh, your, or our, global, or, or David's, Global Goods Transport Palette by A2 Studio, 7.02 megabytes to download, uh, seven, six, seven, and eight slots on console. I'm Louis Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.